Greetings and Namaskar to each one who came here to watch this video. In this video, we are going to study the principle of linear superposition. Well, in second last video, that is particles versus waves, we saw that wave nature of electron through double slit experiment forming interference pattern. Now, the question arises is that how do we account mathematically for the existence of the interference pattern in the double slit experiment with material particles such as electron. So now, as science goes with experimental as well as theoretical proof, so the concept that offered us mathematical answer of this question is principle of linear superposition. What does it say? If two possible states or the system are represented by the wave function psi 1 rt and psi 2 rt, then corresponding to every linear combination of the two functions, there exists a state of system. That is, psi rt is equals to a psi 1 rt plus b psi 2 rt, where a and b are the complex constants. Now, coming back to the double slit experiment, the interference that we obtain from the superposition of the waves coming from slit 1 and 2. Let psi 1 rt and psi 2 rt be the functions which denote the wave reaching the screen emitted by slit 1 and slit 2. From superposition principle, to every linear combination of two functions, there exists a state of system. So here, 1 and 2 represent two physically possible states of system or two physically outcomes of the system. And their linear superposition will be psi rt is equals to a1 psi1 rt plus a2 psi2 rt where r is position vector t is time psi is wave function and a1 and a2 are the complex constants This is superposition principle. Now proceeding further to intensity. Then mod psi 1 rt mod square is the intensity produced On the screen if we open only slit 1 and psi 2 rt mod square is the intensity produced on the screen if we open only slit 2. In case, if we open both slits, the intensity is mod psi rt mod square is equals to psi 1 rt plus psi 2 rt mod square. If we open this mod square, then psi 1 rt mod square plus psi 2 rt mod square plus psi 1 star rt psi 2 rt plus psi 1 rt psi 2 star 
R T. Look carefully. Here, it is not equal to simply its square, but it contains an additional term having asterisk in it, which denotes complex conjugate. And you know what? This term gives rise to the interference pattern to electron which is similar to the light waves. A new term comes in between and that is phase shift. It is basically shifting of the graph from their usual position. So here, due to the phase shift between psi 1 RT and psi 2 RT, the existence of the interference pattern takes place. And you know the surprising thing that we can measure this phase shift from the interference pattern, but we can't measure the phases of psi 1 and psi 2 separately. Now, at last, let us sum up the double slit experiment results in three principles. Number one, for classical particles, intensity add as I equals to I1 plus I2. Number two, for quantum particles, amplitude add as psi RT is equals to psi 1 RT plus psi 2 RT, which gives rise to interference. In classical particles, intensity add while in quantum particles, amplitude adds. Number three, determining the individual outcomes of the microscopic particles will destroy the interference patterns. And then as classical particles, intensities will add as I equals to I1 plus I2. So that's it by my side. Hope you found this video productive. Thanks for giving your time here. Take care.